These bulbated ants are facing death, and it's up to us and the raspberry pi pico to save them. Hello there explorers, it's so good to see you. My name is Bugman and I'm an entomologist from South Africa. Today we need to save these bulbators because the low winter temperatures could cause the death of this colony. I used a quick and simple solution to make sure that the ants don't get too cold by placing a heat pad next to their enclosure. But you see this is a problem because these ants must have a hibernation period and with the heat pad next to them, they don't get that cooler period in which they can hibernate. During hibernation, the queen's egg production is greatly decreased or even completely halted. This allows the queen time to rest and build up the necessary body fats and other resources that she will require during spring's egg laying surge. This surge will lead to a population boom that coincides with spring's abundantly available resources. From last time that we looked at this colony, the number of ants have doubled and they have started to produce normal sized workers. It is time to give this growing colony a second test tube to accommodate their increasing size. The best way to solve our temperature issue is with a Raspberry Pi Pico. The Pi Pico is a microcontroller to which you can connect various input and output devices such as sensors, buttons, relays and so forth. Today we will be using a temperature sensor, a relay, a red LED, an RGB LED and an OLED display. This is the wiring diagram that we'll be using today. If you want it in more detail, you can find it at the link in the description down below. After coding the Pi Pico in MicroPython, it is now time to test it. The OLED display indicates the current temperature and the status of the heating, whether it's on or off, as well as the maximum and minimum recorded temperatures. Both the LEDs are for quick visual indication of the current status of the system. The red LED indicates whether the heat pad is currently on or off. The RGB LED indicates the temperature, with green being within the desired range. All the blue hues indicate that the temperature is too low and all the red hues indicate that the temperature is too high. To mount the temperature probe inside the enclosure, we will be using a wooden lid through which we will be drilling two holes, one for a bamboo skewer and one for the temperature probe. We are doing this to keep the temperature probe out of the reach of the ants. We will then affix the probe to the bamboo skewer and make sure that it does not touch the sides of the enclosure or the substrate, as this will allow the ants a very easy escape route and we definitely do not want that. It has been 12 hours since we first activated the Raspberry Pi Pico within this enclosure and, to my great delight, the temperature has been very stable within the desired range, which, in my opinion, makes this a successful project. If you enjoyed this video and would like to know the origin of this ant colony, I've placed a video detailing that in the top right corner. Then, if you'd like to see more about the Raspberry Pi Pico and how we can use it in animal enclosures, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Remember to explore, discover and share. And I'll see you explorers next time.